now that we have layout and we have preferences set up, let's go ahead and start working on, on different ways for us to be able to get color. Now, one of the things that I like about Photoshop CS4 is that they have a really cool way to be able to explore different types of colors using cooler. Take a look at this. I'm going to go to window and under window, I'm going to go to extensions and under extensions, the section called cooler. Click on that and notice it's going to bring up the cooler desktop. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over to swatches and I'm just going to double click on adjustments and drag down because I kind of want a little bit of space here. And I want to talk a little bit about this and how to be able to use it and how to be able to log in. So why not? Basically, what you can do here is you can set up a specific color, right? You see this little circle here? That's the base color that you're using. And if you move it around, you'll notice that the RGB values change as well as the hex values that are here. So you can go ahead and move that around. However, you don't necessarily have any kind of rules by which it's selecting color. Notice that there's an area here called select rule. Click on the drop down. You have different methods by which you can select colors now. So if you go to analogous colors, notice that there's colors that are picked. I'm dragging that main base color and it's finding colors that are similar to it across the wheel. So this gives us kind of a quick path for us to be able to work with. If I click on the drop down and I go to monochromatic colors, it selects a specific color, but it stays within that shade. So it's kind of going up and down on that. Now, if I don't like the color of that base color, I can go ahead and drop this and drop the shading of that base color so that it can help. You also have the option to be able to come over here, add that current foreground color as a base color. So if I have this color and I want to use it, I just come over here and just select it. There's my base color and there's my monochromatic set. So it's very, very varied. I can click on the drop down. I can select triads. Notice where was this when I was trying to get dressed in the morning? I don't know, <laughs> but it's a great way for you to be able to select triads of colors or complementary colors. This one would help. So notice as you drag it around, it does color combinations for you. I happen to like that because a lot of the times I think that selecting the appropriate colors can be very, very daunting when you're setting up a web design. So this helps quite a bit. So notice you can select foreground and background. You can go ahead and affect different types of colors. You can affect different types of shades. You can tweak all of that stuff by using sliders here. And you can save this theme once you have it all set up exactly the way that you want. You also have the option to be able to take this theme and add it to the swatches or you can upload this to Cooler. Now, I'm a big fan of that. Basically, if you click on uploading this to Cooler, what will happen is it'll open up the Cooler website and it'll take that theme and put it in there for you to use later. So I can give it a name, I can give it a tag, and I'm done. That's really cool. Now, notice that I'm already signed in here. You have to create an account. The account's free, so don't worry about that too much. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here to a section called Themes. Now, what I'll do is I'll search under RC because notice you have newest themes. You also have most popular themes or the highest rated themes. So you can kind of find a bunch of different things here that you can use. I'm just going to search by RC and see if anything comes up. Let's see if I saved anything. There's my RC Mammoth one. Notice that I can save it. I can add it to a favorite. I can download it as a swatch exchange file. Right? I can change it or I can trash it if I want. So lots of stuff that you can do to this. Now, notice that this is called Mammoth. What's with Mammoth? That's even better. Take a look at this. I'm gonna go over to the Create section. Now notice that I'm creating from a color and this looks pretty much exactly the same the way that it looked inside of Photoshop. But this is the part that I like even better. A lot of the times you can find a lot of color inspiration right from images. So single click on the From Image section. It's gonna to go to Flickr and it's gonna find different colors. I like that. That's pretty decent. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Flickr and I'll explore stuff inside of Flickr. Now, I'm going to go in and sign in, make it even better. All right? Now, notice once I'm signed in, I can come back over here and I can go to my photo stream. Inside of my photo stream, it'll take pictures that I've uploaded into Cooler and it'll put all of that information right inside of the cooler desktop and it'll allow me to be able to go in and start using my own images as a palette by which I can explore. So here's some images that I've taken. Right? If I go to the second page, 
It's going to go ahead and load all of that stuff for me. Here's some really cool pictures. I'll go to the third. I'm trying to look for something that's going to be a little bit more inspiring for me. And you know what? This one looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and click on that. It downloads and analyzes colors. Notice where it's sampling colors from. And creates a theme for me. I like it. So this is a great way for you to be able to do stuff. You can also upload images right from here so you don't have to have Flickr. But it's a great way to keep all of that kind of stuff saved for yourself. I'm going to get and minimize this and we'll go back into Photoshop. Now, what if we want to take this theme that we have here and we want to save it? I can click on that and notice it adds the theme here to the swatches. Now, should you get to a spot where all of a sudden you don't want this here, you can go ahead and just move right over this one section, do a right click and delete the swatch. And then just click OK. So if I wanted to delete all of those, that would be a good way for me to be able to do it. You can also just kind of hover over this and you know when you get an eyedropper, you can hit the option key and just click and cut out all of the swatches as you need to. Great way for you to be able to kind of set up any kind of colors, any specific types of layouts. I'm going to use the one that I already have set up here. Notice I've already downloaded this RC Mammoth, which happened to be one that I did off of a picture that I took in Mammoth, California. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this web background and I'm going to select this blue color. Now we're pretty much ready to be able to work a little bit more on this web background layout.